All right, girls, so our hot girl summer is coming to a close, but I'm gonna hit y'all with this really dope transitional style into our fierce girl fall using our dark and lovely fade resist, a formula that is just too hard to resist, okay, honey? This video is in partnership with Dark and Lovely and I'm gonna be mixing two of my favorite colors. But before we get into that, I'm gonna prep my closure by spraying it with some hairspray. This is gonna coat those knots and the lace material to make sure that you don't get a lot of staining. Now inside your Dark and Lovely Fade Resist box, you'll get your cream developer, your Fade Resist color, and my favorite, the Moisture Rich Conditioner. It is just everything and you'll need all of these things to achieve this look. So just follow my on-screen instructions and shake it up. So the two colors I'm gonna be using are the Fade Resist Red Hot Rhythm and the Vivacious Red. And these are just gonna give you a bomb transitional customized color. It's gonna look like you came straight out the salon, honey. That's what we're here for, YouTube University. <laughs> and I love this formula. And I know you guys are always skeptical about um, box colors, like will it work? And I'm just gonna show you that I started with really dark natural black hair and this color did its thing and i followed the exact processing time and i'm just super pleased with the way this came out especially for me not having to bleach the hair prior to so this wig is just going to be in its tip top condition all right the camera's a little shaky blame it on tim because he's the one holding this but what i'm doing right now is just rinsing the color off of my bundles i know it looks dark but honey look at that look at that so what I did was follow up with my moisture rich conditioner and that just, you know, really nourishes the hair from root to tip. It has those three fruit oils in it, shea, avocado, olive, everything that my extensions need, okay? So we were all good to go. But what I'm gonna do here is just soften up my lace closure now. When they come straight to you, this is a transparent lace by the way, when it comes straight to you, sometimes you're just kind of really jam packed with hair and no one's hairline, I mean mine exactly isn't that full. So what I'm doing is using my tweezer to soften up those harsh lines. So as I keep going line by line, you guys will see that I'm softening up that really solid line you see behind the part. All right, y'all, I'm taking y'all back to 07 in my mama's basement, no, I'm kidding. So basically what you don't wanna do is lay your closure right on the edge of that spandex cap. You wanna just take your closure and overextend it about an inch from the edge of your spandex cap as you guys see here. And I'll show you exactly why we do this in a second. This is why your closure wigs suck. It's because you are misplacing the closure when you're initially creating your wig. And it's kind of giving you a really boxed off look and it's not gonna give you a really nice flow. So just trust me, trust your girl, and you will get a really flawless vibe right here. So all I'm doing is section it off and getting that out the way. And I'm just gonna, you know, same old, same old. My cap is a little too big. I'm gonna fold it back under and my tracks are gonna kind of like tailor it to my head. And I'm just gonna lay my tracks. You guys know how to do this, but the closure part, the placement, honey, is gonna change your life. So um, yeah, this may be therapeutic to some of you guys, but let's get to sewing. All right, class, we're done. Now I'm gonna remove the wig from my canvas head and I'm just gonna cut that little black cap away from underneath so that that lace just shines through and it's just all bright and nice. So we're gonna get rid of that. And now this is the fun part. I know you guys see that ribbon on the side of the lace. What you wanna do is cut that ribbon away and this is gonna give you a seamless look. You guys, just, just, just trust me, okay? Just follow what I'm doing and y'all gonna be happy. I, have I ever steered y'all wrong? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do that on both sides. You guys will see it goes from the edge of the wig to just straight lace, straight lace. So this is this is gonna this is gonna give you the juice, the jaune de quoi. You know they're gonna be they're gonna be trying to clock you, and you guys can see how the hair kind of flows, and that's why I sew the hair forward because you don't want the wind to blow, and you see all the goodies. Now I'm gonna tint my lace using the wig gurus, and I'll list a link to both of these below, and just blow dry and cut. Here we are, we are done. I'm just gonna be using my clippers to give me a really straight bob. I want this to have a really triangular look. I did try to uh, crimp this look and I hated it. I ended up just washing it and wearing it naturally wavy. You guys will see what I did in the next clip, but there you go.
So um, let me just make sure that you guys can actually see your girl because this is a very wide shot. I cannot for some reason locate my fixed lens and it's driving me capital C crazy but we just gonna make it work because we gotta get this look finished, you know? But anyway, back to square one, which is just like our braided base. And what I do is I just have my hair corn rolled going this way. And I've learned that this is better for my head shape. Um, I kind of oval out right here. So my wigs kind of sit funny if I do traditional straight backs because it gives me like height right here. So what I've been doing lately is just kind of like spreading it out and not kind of doing cornrows and more relaxed braids. I'm not really squeezing my fingers together as I'm braiding and getting a really tight cornrow. I'm basically just braiding it to be flat, so as loose as possible, so that once you tie it down, the braid gets even flatter. If you do a traditional cornrow, if you have a head shape like mine, it's gonna give you height and the braid is gonna be so tight and firm that you really won't have any wiggle room. I'm just gonna put this cap on because one reason why your closure suck in the summer is because you aren't properly giving yourself the proper hold from jump. So like you're just doing a bunch of like fixed jobs and that's what we wanna avoid. So I know you're probably like, why the Jew curls? Now for me, I like to leave these out because the way I lay my closures for my wigs, when the wind blows, I, prefer, I personally just, I can't handle looking like I'm wearing a wig. Like I don't want anybody to know I'm wearing a wig. And I know we've kind of transitioned into that culture where like, people just give zero <laughs> about their wig wearing, but I'm still one of those girls, like I want I want you to ask me a question in your head. Like I want you to just be like, you know what I mean? Is it a someone, is it, I, I want that, I want all of it. So with us laying the closure, like we usually would a frontal and overextending it, it's gonna blend perfectly into these edges. Now if you are just fortunate enough to have edges all across, you know, God bless you, but my, my head kind of goes like that. You know what I mean? Back to the application. So, like I was saying, I overextend the closure. So I got a good, like half an inch on the side that's gonna sit over and blend into my natural hairline. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of tissue. And even though I'm not gluing this, to give myself an even better hold and just a nice stick, just in case you want like that little melted look, I am gonna just take the makeup off my forehead because when you're not wearing makeup, your lace is going to match your makeup and not your face. And I just so happen to be like 50 shades of brown. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just gonna take this makeup off because I don't want it to stain my lace. And now I'm gonna take my scalp protect. This is what I would usually use to apply glue. I'm not applying glue because I am going away this weekend. I'm also gonna be taking like super HD pictures. So I wanna like make sure that I can remove my unit. So I'm just applying a little bit of this because it's really hot in New York right now. And this is just gonna help my gel really stick to my skin. This is really good for oily skin, just oily people, sweaty people. Now we're gonna go into our got to be spiking glue. This is the same old, same old. Now, I know my top looks junky, but what I like to do is just take a pea size amount, legit. I like to put it on the top and warm it up here. This just makes sure that I'm not applying too much of the product. And this is just gonna act as a base for my spritz. Now this is called a wig grip and you can buy this on Amazon. I have several different colors. Now because I'm using the transparent lace, it shows through, I mean you can see everything. So I use my dark brown and I use my transparent lace versus traditional, um, uh, HD, it's HD lace basically. So I'm gonna just put this right in front right here. But basically what this does is it has fibers that kind of like keep everything from moving. Now this is also like more practical for my girls who just wanna kinda like get up and go. Now this is fine, like if you're happy with this look, you can literally just walk out the house. Like I would just probably, it'd be tied down overnight so the lace would kinda stick a little bit more to the skin. But what I like about overextending the lace and leaving my little Jew curls out is that if the wind blows, you legit cannot tell that this is a wig. You know what I mean? Like you got the little hairs here. And then this extension is going to blend into those hairs. So that's one of the things I love. All right, so now I'm gonna just pin this back. Okay, so now we're gonna take our got to be, and I like to just put it on my fingertips and just press that into the lace. And this is going to activate that 
gel underneath and stick it to your face. Now the reason I put it on the finger is because I don't have time to just have like hard hair all over the place. So this just kind of helps me keep that got to be in place. And then I'm gonna take my blow dryer on cool. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of spritz on my comb and comb the hair that I don't want to be like the baby hair away. And then do that one more time. You guys can see she's melted. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you guys can see like I'm pretty much like set right now but if you still kind of want that like baby hair look what you want to do is take a really soft mousse and I really like the cream of nature now this is if you want like a really soft look and you really want to be able to like take this off the next day if you want like a triple day hold you're going to use this Tresemme extra firm control mousse so it just depends on what you want for like a really soft look that you can peel off the next day you want to use the argan oil like a foaming mousse if you want a stronger firmer hold you want to use an extra firm mousse and i'm going to just work that in make sure the hair is going in the direction i want you want to work really fast and just kind of like lay the baby hairs. I didn't cut too many because I want this to look really natural. Like you cannot tell me this is not mine. Like this is this is my hair. So it's like, what do you mean? It's a closure. Like. And you see like it is not moving. I don't have to worry about it. She is doing her damn thistle. And then I'm just gonna take a wrap strip and tie it down. Just if I'm being absolutely funky fresh and giving you guys my, my little secrets. After I put my first, so basically I take one wrap strip and I cut it in half so I get two. Cause I don't really need it to go all the way back here. We don't, we don't want this to be like flat and laid, right? We want it to be flowy. Um, so after I cut that first one, I'm gonna and lay the first one, I'm gonna just take the got to be and I'm gonna spray it right on the very hairline that's gonna give me an extra added kind of you know and, and then take the blow dryer on cool and do what you gotta do all right so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture I think I just want to go with a really soft wave I don't know if I want them to be uniform or not again I am just playing with my hair so you know let's just if you guys like what I'm doing and it comes out right you'll know if not this clip will be <laughs> no I'm kidding um, but yeah I'm just gonna use this um, damn when I was filming face forward they like taped up all my stuff but I think this is hot tools and I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture if that is the vibe and just going back and forth and bouncing the curler just gives you more of that beachy effect this side i always struggle with so if you do it's okay it is okay perhaps just i always cut it i just do so looking lazy sometimes sometimes i hate these wrap strips because they stick and they like lift up my they lift up my baby hair so what i find is like if you do like a really quick swift it's gone you know if you're like scared it's going to stick to your skin just trust me but um what's glue baby what's glue now i personally don't like the look of um you know like i don't want it to be like super um plastered right here so i'm gonna just break this up because i like for it to be a little soft almost to just look like a little wrap you know setting lotion or something was there yeah guys this is the vibe this is the finished look you guys can see like 
you know like we get this nice like blown away vibe here you know your hair doesn't have to sit on your forehead fall in your face it's mad hot outside nobody got time for that and i'm just obsessed with this color um having your little natural hair in front also helps with the color so like you know pull them little strands for whatever whatever and i just feel like this looks so natural you guys see how i blended my baby hair in with the actual um hairs from the wig it's i promise it's not magic but it is like you know and i have so much versatility with this i'm going to take a little bit of my beach shake texture finisher this is from joico and you have to shake this up shake it on baby and just like miss this on your hair this is gonna give you the texture and i like to kind of just like scrunch get my shape popping i did that exaggerated little beyonce cut i call it my little triangle beyonce um i don't know if you guys remember i just want to say on my own mind that song what would you heard on my own mind all i'm really asking for is you you know that one yeah sorry sorry but yeah i love that shape and it's just been my go-to for like almost every bob that i do i gotta pull up on you do, do, do. yes guys this is the finished look i'm obsessed with this color it is like the perfect red for brown skin i feel like it's it almost gives me like i'm like this nude like chocolate red and i'm so happy that i mix both shades i'm so happy guys dark and lovely came through thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if there's any other like things you guys need help with because like i'm i'm just coming back because i i gotta come back i miss y'all and i'm just tired of what i've been saying so you know we just gonna get back to it and you guys can see like she's secured like you not pulling this off my head bro like first of all you're not getting that close but second of all like we secure we secure okay now i hope this answers some of your questions i really really want to see y'all rocking closures i want to see y'all removing the wigs i want to see a natural hair i want to see all of it because hair is just an accessory it is the greatest accessory i used to always say that still stand by it but i just don't want us to get so caught up in these these frontals that like none of us have hairlines and none of us know what our scalp color is anymore so you know this is great for the summer it's too damn hot for a frontal we don't need y'all melting at the barbecues y'all got a good 30 days left maybe a little more but i want y'all to just rock out with your wigs out for the rest of the summer youtube is just oh it's so annoying on youtube now jesus <sighs> okay i love you girls now i'm gonna go find my other lens i can give y'all all the smoke with the better lens you know what i'm saying i'm trying to give y'all all the details but i don't know where my lens at but i love you <laughs>